Hi, where is Mike here? Today I'm going to be doing an Aura Glasses review. Yes. I'm going to go on various places around that I know that have some paranormal activity. And I'm also going to do a couple of haunted objects I got with them using these glasses. They're cheap. I'm probably going to cut them out and put them on a camera lens and see if that works too for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to try it, but this is my view on the Aura Glasses. They say you have to train your mind to do this. So it's going to be a while before this video actually pops out. So if you haven't seen me on for a while, that's why I come testing these out. All right. So, let's begin. This is like the brightest place in the room is my bathroom. You can kind of see the auras in the mirror too. Um, here, actually, I'm going to try experiment and you can check this out real quick. Maybe this will work. I don't know. So it says bring your hand out as far as you can. We're going to bring out just Melanie as far as we can. You see orbs around her. Wait background. Should be able to see her orbs. Her aura. Kinda a little bit that light blue around the edges. I gotta kinda change your mind to do it, so I'll try over here over next to the light light. Or right in top of the light. Oh, there you go. You see that light light edge around her in front of the light? That's supposedly her aura. Right there, you can see it really good. Aura glasses. I mean, you change your mind, I guess it gets more, sticks out more. Let's try my hand. Right on the light. Yep, you see that aura right in front of it? How it's a. Uh, you see the light around? I should do that with ghosts and stuff too. And it should help you see in the woods. I might use this to help hunt for Bigfoot if I try to try to do that, but for now, just doing a review. Yeah, it gives you an aura around your hand. You can kind of see it with this on. It's a lot better with the glasses. You gotta relax your mind though. Neat. Any aura? See it? Oh, there it is. See the aura? See really good right there. Uh, there's her aura. Okay. So we're going to try some more things. Okay. So we're at the St. Anne's Cemetery. It's so big it actually has like two names. I think it goes into like St. Mary or something like that. Way when you go way down in it or whatever. This cemetery is like super old. Like a lot of the graves in here, some of them don't have like some of the bodies they're buried don't have graves because like they've been destroyed or it's like how old the cemetery is and like some of the graves are like to the opposite place because the kids used to come in here so you can't come here at night kids used to come in here and party and shit and like drink and stuff um it's not like you know the connecticut cemetery which i went there once before like all haunted like that like that place is really fucking scary like i would not sit in the connect cemetery at night alone like my friends literally drove just down the street to turn around. And I was like, wait, guys. <laughs> that place is scary as fuck. They got, like, sites of Bigfoot and, like, uh, UFOs and shit up there, too. I don't know. It's a weird place. But this cemetery, me and my friend were walking around. And we got some misty shapes and shit while we were walking around. So I was going to try the aerosol glasses on the camera. Hopefully, you guys can see something. It is snowing like a motherfucker. Very, very white out. So hopefully, that will help the white background, I'm hoping. And we'll get something, some shapes or something, some orbs, or auras. I'm sorry, I keep saying orbs. I don't know why the fuck I do that. So yeah, we're going to try this out. It should be pretty sweet. I'm also going to build an aura camera, which I'll show you how to do on this. And then, you know, I'll use that once in a while throughout my show. All right, well, you guys, here we go.
Alright, so if you do see any shapes or anything, I'm like totally alone in this graveyard. I can't really tell you. I mean, it is cold as hell. No one's going to be in this area right now. <laughs> no one but me. Unless they're tight through or something. We get some. Trees go to our us. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. Hope we find something on this camera. Camera? I don't know. I ain't looking at the camera. Circle around. Alright, better hurry up. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to the car, shut this camera off, check the footage. All right. Okay, so I got a shit ton of probably's and maybes in that video. Here, why don't you check them out? I also think I got a group of people, but you can check it out for yourself. It's right here it is. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make an Aurora camera real quick. All you got to do is cut out one of these things you get off eBay for 20 bucks or Aurora glasses. Get one of these $20 cameras off eBay. Or 20 40 whatever, you know. They're, pretty, they're cheap. They're cheap. Put the lens, cut it out, put it over, put it right over the lens. It should pop in there nicely. Um, I'm not going to do it today, but I'll, I'll show you some other video. And, but look, it just works. It works when you put over any camera, okay? So I'm going to show that to you real quick. Any camera with the blue stuff works, man. Any camera, any camera lens. I did it with my phone. You can do it with this. It's not hard. 
Oh, he hasn't. Look at it. Lens. Blue stuff. Blue lens. Probably not the best to show you. But yeah, just put the damn thing over it. Cut it out. Make it fit there. Bam! Aurora camera. Very easy. I don't think I have to like show you and do step by step, cut it out, and then play fucking stupid music with it. I mean, it's self explanatory. Put the shit over the camera. Okay, so that's how you make an Aurora camera. Uh, I said I was going to do it. Best you got. So, so I hope you like this video. Um, Oh yeah, I want to get a shout out to my friend Brian LeBaron. He got me a new doll, which I did not open yet, but the package is here. So, um, I guess I could do that real quick. It doesn't have a name. It was bought, like, for 20 bucks. And here it is. Let's do it. All right. Getting in this package. Here she is. Man, it's tight as a drum. Super wrapped up. I don't want you doing nothing. Jesus. How you treat a child? <laughs> I guess she moves. That's probably not really wrapped up. Suppose you look at the seven thing. I'll probably put it on here at the end of the video. Let me just unwrap it real quick. Uh, Ta da! She do not have a name. Or at least we don't know her name yet. Give me a vibe. Hi! Yeah. She feels pretty strong. I got stuff. I got toys. I got toys. Cat's here. Ooh, you got your shoes. So I'm going to be jealous. All right, Melanie. She's eight. She stands taller than you. She'll be up here too. Oh! Maybe? Maybe I just rocked the table. Yeah, probably nothing. Yep. So. Here you go. Give you these. Those for a while or whatever you're gonna do. Keep it posted, everybody, and let you know if this doll is really haunted. I got it given to me from a friend, and uh, he bought it off eBay for 20 bucks. And I'll put up the descriptions, and that's gonna be the end of the show. So please like and subscribe, and I hope you like my uh, Aurora glasses review. I think they work. Um, I'm gonna be using them more on the show here and there for a while, just for fun. And uh, please like and subscribe, like I said. Thank you.